define it if you cannot understand it, or if it doesn't make sense or logic to us, then we may cons consider it to be insane. Now, I totally agree with you guys if you are going to define the price action that you see based upon the information that's given to us by the news media, by the analysts, by the ones that are interpreting the economic situation in Japan and the impact of the tsunami. Okay, if you take all that stuff and you try to comprehend it or see it in the price action, uh, because all these guys seem to be on the board, they have a good argument uh, to make, uh, it doesn't make sense, and you can see the volatility that has come here in, for example, something like the dollar yen, then we can assume that it is, let's say, insane or illogical to volatile, and if we do that, we are going to miss on tremendous, tremendous and fantastic opportunities that come to us maybe once or twice a year. These fantastic moves, these volatile moves, these are the ones that we all should be looking for and hoping that we can catch. Most of the people out there fear the volatility because they don't know how to put the grasp around it, they don't know how to interpret it, they don't know how to define it. All what they see, okay, this is, it came down six or seven hundred pips, and now it is going back up five or six or seven hundred pips. Oh, this is crazy. Five or six or seven hundred pips in the scope of a three trillion, four trillion dollar market is nothing. For us guys, this is, and this answers also your question, uh, Richard, is we identify price points. Because if we don't know if it's going up or down or doing nothing, then it's crazy. Right? If we don't know which way it's going, then it's going up with a great deal of volatility up and down, then it is crazy. It is insane. We cannot handle it. But if we define a price point like the 79.52 or the 80.24, and above that price point, we are interpreting the market. This is our dictionary. This is like our Webster dictionary. Above 80.24, then the way we read the price action is that it is a buy, and that's what we are all going to focus on is to try to buy it somewhere above the 80.24 and take it to the upside. We are going to shut our ears and not listen to anybody out there, and that is what the market is saying. Keep in mind, guys, and if it's trading below the 80.24, then that is my interpretation or the market interpretation that this is now a selling point and we have to sell it. And you take this, you put your trade above, you take the buy above the 80.24, place your stop, give it a decent stop because of the volatility, and walk away literally walk away because you don't want to go unless if you're willing to sit and be strong about it and watch the screen and don't get faced out these are the best trades that you want to be in you'll make the most money in the shortest possible time okay so david and richard the idea is we use the price points whether long or short richard to translate the price action into decision-making points, and we buy above our buy point, and we sell below our selling point. So we buy above the long point, okay, so for example, the dollar yen, we are going to buy above 82.25, and we have what we call a structural point, which is the 82, 87, as you see here. And the structure longer, uh, Richard, is 
what we call like a trend change, and that would be the initiation of or the beginning of a, a an explosive move, a very strong explosive move. This is a very strong price point. Uh, the short point, this means that we are going to sell below, let's say in the case of the dollar yen, below 81.65. And if it trades below the 81.12, this is a capitulation. Uh, well, uh, if the price is below the uh, structural point and the long point, uh, well, for us, we have our techniques, basically, where we trade. But at least for the ones that don't know our day trading techniques our and our entry points, our exit points, and it's way beyond the scope of this. Uh, I would suggest you would do nothing because you have now 24, 25 different pairs, and you, there will be, there has to be one out of all of these that. Uh, where you will find uh, a buying point or a selling point. Uh, so these are primarily the uh, the structure point is a, a is a big trading point. Either above it we're going to buy and below it we're going to sell. Okay, John, uh, it's going to be in the same link as you're going to see. Watch the recording of this session. Uh, you'll use the same link. And well, I, I will upload these videos that we're doing right now uh, into the, uh, the session. And you will find there also the, uh, the, the, the Q&A.